Great. Okay. He said you broke your TV. Hold on. Hold on. He broke your TV because you thought 6 9 had sex with Angelica. You see? I'm so. Oh, fuck. What the? I spilled some shit? No. Uh, oh, never no, mind. No, Got me stressed, man. Uh, listen. Once again, this is why my son is dead. Zero facts, all allegations. I broke my TV because 6 9 fucked my girl. Now, I'm assuming when they say my girl, I'm assuming they're talking about Angelica. Again, again, what what are the facts that he had with that? Let me, again, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. No, he, did he have any facts? Angelica, come here. Oh, you don't have makeup on, shit. <laughs> Bro, you can't. You, oh, God, Jesus Christ! Could you? You can't get on camera at all? Nah. Alright, could y'all hear it though? This is, and by the way, I've never. Uh, this is what. Hold on. Let me just explain, right? I just want to explain. And by the way, first people say, oh, his reaction says it's all. No, this is fucking false, alright? But let me put this in context before I ask Angelica what happened. And by the way, this had nothing to do with 6ix9ine because I told 6ix9ine about some shit that clearly he was playing around or I don't know if he was talking to Dominique said some shit and he probably took took it whatever. Dom is a dick rider for anybody who is famous to be his friend. He did negative stories about 6ix9ine and I was on a call with him when 6ix9ine first called him and he said I will take down the story of you impregnating a 17-year-old girl named Martha Gold, if I could call you from time to time. The bitch nigga folded after he put out a story about a rapper. He basically on the phone admitted to 6 9 I'm only putting out stories that are tainting your image because like 6 9 called me saying, what should I do with this nigga? He has beef with you and he's taking out on me. And I said to him and I said, bruh, I sunned that nigga on my stream already. That nigga shook to say my name. I'm good. And 6 9 said, well, I'm not good because he's taking it out on me. And I said to him, ignore that nigga. Don't worry. I'll probably give him a round two soon enough. I'm clapping that nigga up. Like, I'm doing drive-bys on drive-bys on drive-bys. You know why? That nigga's trash. 6 9 couldn't wait because he said my baby mama is watching that nigga shit and coming at me crazy. So 6 9 says, listen, I'm going to call him because I need this to stop. I can't have my baby mama on me. 6 9 calls him. 6 9 says to him, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on through it. 6 9 says to him, listen, you're fucking up my family by just putting out these stories that you don't have the facts. And basically, he gets this whole ass nigga Dom to say, oh, okay, I'll delete it, but I'll only delete it if, like, if I call you, you can answer. And you could tell he's been flexing or whatever, like, oh, I called 6 9 and blah, blah. Like, the, the nigga's retarded, okay? A anyway, I, anyway, and I'll tell you the strategy behind that. I, see, I love putting everything in there. I love exposing everybody. I expose me too. I expose everybody. The strategy behind 6 9 talking to Dom or even communicating with Dom these days is that that nigga is a leech and a parasite. A nigga who, where he knows that the, there's 20 girls who claims they're pregnant by him, I don't want to talk to them bitches until they got a fucking court paper in their hand. I don't want to talk to them. Dom is a bootlicker. He's the vulture after I've gotten all the meat. He comes, he licks around the bones, he gets at the cartilage, he does the dirt, like not even dirty work. He gets the scraps. So you know what? The hoes that I would never talk to, he, he grabs at it. So anyway, 6 9 says to me, you know why him and X are like this? Like he doesn't report certain things on X, but he'll run to report something on me. Because X fucking FaceTimes this bum and makes him feel good. Keep in mind, he's a 35-year-old man, obese, diabetes, cholesterol, 
off the meter. Okay? Dumb. Again, I don't really like body shaming people because I ain't got no six pack, but you start with the you start with physical appearance joke, my nigga. Could you could you put out a, a, a full body pitch? I just want you standing up. Y'all see me every day on everyday struggle. Whether I gain 10 pounds or I lose, y'all see me every day. We haven't seen you. Why is that? Why is that? You can't talk about it. It's like a nigga who's and, and, and you're a YouTuber now, so that's different. It's like a nigga who basically has a motherfucking um who, who, who who's a commenter but criticizes people and never shows their face. We've seen three pictures of your face and all we can see is stretch marks in your fucking cheeks. I'm sorry to tell you, like you had my nigga I get that you cut your facial hair, but you don't want to tell the people the truth that you're really 35, Dominic Crawford. You're 35 years old. Not only are you 35 years old, obsessed with the 14-year-old Catch Me, Catch Me Outside girl and the lights off. You're just a bum. You're happy when X FaceTimes you. You get a heart off of it. X is not doing an interview with you now. You know why? Because I, I fucked that up for you. You know why? X has you like a dick rind puppet who would post and repost or not post whatever you did. But I challenge your stupid ass to actually report some shit he wouldn't like. And just like what happened when he he, he tried to get whatever with me, I don't give a fuck if X likes me or not, nigga. Bro, I've been, I've been me before X. X hasn't helped me with shit. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. But I do give you credit. I'm not no advice. I give you credit for you, you kind of was trying to draw the line with X. Then X dissed you on Twitter. X is not doing a fucking interview with you. But of course, a lot of his fans follow you. So you leave them. Oh, it's coming any day now. Bitch, nigga, it doesn't take that long to do an interview. That nigga just had a whole, it was an op. He had an op come into his house, do a whole interview with him. They put out a piece exposing him because they were really doing a piece on the victim. I didn't even do a story on that because I looked at it and said, why the fuck would X let an interviewer come to his crib and do all that shit? Dom, you have to stop getting hyped off FaceTimes with people half your age who are playing you like a fiddle, playing you like a puppet. So that's X. Now 6 9 realizes he has to take the same approach. He panders to you, makes you feel fucking special. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, he's going to do that that you don't try to fucking ruin his personal life because you love talking about chicks who claim they fucked him and his baby mama you run stories on these things like they're facts and his baby mama sees that and she's like what the fuck so he panders to your stupid ass now i'm not getting away from the main issue we're talking about <clears throat> the main issue we're talking about which if you're a legend six nine told you that i broke a tv because six nine did something with angelica angelica have you ever even been alone with six nine Nah, never. Hurry up with your, your shit, Aiken. Come on, camera, please. <laughs> why did I? Why did Chicks need makeup for the whole camera? Like, what the fuck? I was literally, yo, I was in my boxers. You know what I mean? Playing Fortnite with my nigga slow and also, and I said, man, I was going to like do some other shit on. Let me know stream. Anyway, so, and, and and this will get to the. I, I do have an interview part. We haven't rehearsed this, nothing like that. We're gonna get to my TV was broken, but this is nothing but girl jealousy shit. Um, but like this, and Angelica is Hispanic. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Don't fucking laugh, my nigga. She's Hispanic, and if you've never dealt with a Hispanic chick who's borderline psycho, low key she broke one of my TV, and she actually thought that was like bull. Like she was like, "Oh, I thought that's what people do when they're mad at their guy." No, nigga, the fuck? I work hard for this fucking shit. But it had nothing to do with 6 9 Anyway, I told 6 9 that. I said, yo, do you know Angelica broke my TV and other shit? I won't even, like, Selena knows the story because I FaceTimed Selena right when it happened. I put out way too much information, but, but the, the, the facts are out there. Um, Angelica broke a bunch of shit in my crib because she thought some other shit with some other girl online. And, like, like I got a couple of spots, so, like, she was staying at one of my spots. And she was FaceTiming me, and I didn't answer the fucking phone. All of a sudden, I won't, I won't say which girl it is. A girl posts up, a fucking idiotic chick posts up something online to make it seem like she's on the phone with me. And Jelica fucking goes psycho saying, what, you're ignoring me? That's a FaceTime with some other bitch? And fucking goes off. When I come back to my shit, 
my TV is snapped in half. I could show y'all it's snapped in half. Had nothing to do with 6ix9ine. Nothing to do with Njoko. First of all, if Njoko ever even fucking gave 6ix9ine a compliment in my, in my vicinity, I would probably kick her ass out. I'm not playing that type of games. So it had nothing to do with that. But um, it, it was just some shit like, bro, trust me, man. Y'all know how to say Spanish women are a black man's kryptonite? Well, I got to add to that, but they're crazy as fuck. I've never had chicks do what this chick has done, and I'm not co-signing because low-key, uh, you know I mean? This goes deeper than y'all really even need to know. I almost like really cut her off and whatever, whatever, and she got mad at me. It's a lot of shit involved. Anyway, I, I told 6 9 9 in the past, and 6 9 was supposed to come to my crib. I told him, like, yo, she, she fucked some shit up. I could imagine 6 9 when talking to Bum maybe brings my name up or who i don't care who brings it up and probably trolls and says yo academics um matter of fact i might call 69 now he's got some jam i'll call 69 in a second i'll call 69 in a second because i ain't into that anyway bum is live if you said that like it was a matter of fact stop sucking 69's dick in terms of just going off what he says got no problem with you facetime do your thing what i'm saying is that if that nigga says something, that nigga says shit to me all the time. Y'all slap this rapper. Nigga, I'm not going to jump on a video. Yo, he's going to slap. I tell him, shut the fuck up because you're fucking trolling. The nigga says half truths when you're talking to him in that in that capacity. So, again, if Bum is Live has any facts about that, please let me know. I will get the confirmation from both of the people who could be involved in this. Me, Angelica. 6 9 that it didn't happen. So once again, you're without facts, okay? She's over there fucking coloring her face and doing some dumb shit. I don't know what it is, so she'll get on camera in a little bit. Bruh. Yo. <laughs> Yo, if I tell you that this chick was just in, like, some fucking little, like, gym wear and two seconds ago, now she's in a mirror, like, fucking, like, looking at her ass. Are you good to get on? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Come down here. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> the camera's right here. Okay. Okay. Bruh, did you call your face? Okay, you, you, you look like Michael Jackson. You look like. I don't know why I look so <laughs> white. No, in no here. it's just like. I, I gotta. Like, this is not where I'm gonna be permanent stream. Anyway, um, my chat said. That I, first of all, do I look like a nigga would break my shit? Nah. <laughs> Bruh, I broke my shit because you and <laughs> six, first of all. Okay, okay. I don't want to get into too much of why it happened. Just overall, because I want to expose certain shit about whatever. And me and you have been going back and forth. Whatever. Why did you break my TV? Oh, some real shit. Not because I thought you were like up to something. So I was like. I was like, I'm never talking to him again. So like, I just uh, yo, crazy. There's more shit she did that I won't put out there. But this is a this is a brand new place. Just got it. Low key, kind of because I was rocking with her. But I have another place as well. And she did so much shit. I was so angry when I saw this shit. Like low key, I didn't want to bring it to the stream. You know why? Because everybody would be like, yo, you got to leave this chick. She's too fucking crazy. Yeah. But this is a new fucking place. Yo, I wish I could show y'all. It's a little bit embarrassing. Well, not embarrassed, But if I ever dealt with a Spanish chick, I know how these chicks get down, bro. Bro, she wrote <laughs> or she carved. I don't know what she did. I hate you into the fucking wall. Didn't you? I did. I hated you at that moment because, like, I was like, it was too much bullshit for me. Yo, if I show you the damage that she fucking did, bro, I won't get into the whole thing, but safe to say she cleaned or she tried to clean for like a whole week straight um, after I, I tried to kick her out and after I, I didn't kick her out. But yeah, anyway, that's the story. That's the story. So that's the truth, okay? Um, that's not some stuff I would like put out there, but shit, fuck it, who cares? All right. Um, somebody says, somebody says, that's not simping, bro. That's not simp. All right, low key. All right, low key. Here's, here, this is what it is. Y'all ever dealt with a chick and like, I'm not saying I was a hundred percent in the right. So I'm not saying like, it's not like she didn't have a reason to be mad. She just didn't have no reason to touch my shit. Like nigga, like, bro, like you live in, you live in a very comfortable life. You just enjoy the shit, breathe and have fun. 
don't fucking ruin my shit, okay? So she, the TV thing, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I don't think that's simping just because she could have got mad at me and like cussed me out. She's not breaking my shit. Anyway, I'm getting past that. She does know if, if she touched anything else in this bitch, like I'm out. And <laughs> other than this room we're in, every other room in this place, I just installed new locks, cameras. So if she does a fucking thing when I'm not here, I instantly know. And there's a keypad that she got to, which she don't know the code. So anyway, long story. Whatever. All right, man. Anyway, so, so let me get back to the shit, man. Bob, stop fucking lying, man. I have, I have no problem, like, putting that information out there, too. Like, truth, truth be told, every, yo, I'm, I might be so, like, sadistic in a way, like, <laughs> and I'm sorry for this. Even times when she's, like, crying, like, like, Angelica's, like, crying or some shit, I'd be like, yo, this would be so lit for stream. And I'm like, oh, shit, this is real life. Like, I blur the lines between stream and real life a lot. Like, it'd be, like, real moments, and I'm like, yo, if this was on stream, show this is the fuckery they need. But it's, like, some other shit. Um, so, yeah. Back to what I was saying. Bum, you're wrong. Okay, and again, again, if you're a man... She would come back and you would say, man, I was wrong. But of course, you won't. You're just a whole ass nigga who tries to get off on accusations and just try to throw shit at the wall and hope it sticks. What, what else did he say? Come on, man. What else did this whole ass nigga say? It's, yeah, it's, I, do, I do have my shit on private network. I, I had a network guy come today and like we, we're uh, doing a bunch of shit. <laughs> uh, yo, yo, factuals? On some real shit though, <laughs> on some on some on some real shit, on some real shit, like no lie. If you tell me the last four weeks hasn't been some love and hip hop shit, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so done. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Uh. uh okay. Nah. Nah. We ain't even no fucking couple channel, bro. <laughs> you know a couple channels are the dumb. Yo, you, you know if we stream Nah, 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 my audience don't like that shit Y'all be so watching some niggas on stream They be like streaming And they chick me right here on their lap They be like titties up and all that shit Yo, they be running up the views I be like, yo, these niggas I'm over here working hard on my ugly ass and shit Alright, fuck that Anyway, um Yeah Listen, here's the problem, yo Angelica thinks I'm fucking everything with two legs Come here, Mark, I want to interview you. Yo, bum, you're so fucking garbage. I just want to, like, I just want to, I'm going to shit on him, but we got to interview you. Since this has already come out, we might as well just start here. Bum, you're trash, okay? You've never had a fact yet. Bruh, YouTube ain't fucking you over. You don't have facts, okay? You just don't have facts, okay? Like, you could do a little bit of research. Ask a little bit of questions. You just don't have facts. But anyway, why do you think I'm fucking every girl with two legs? Because, like, they just always got to say something. Bruh. <laughs> they uh, always say some, like, slick shit, and I just be like, hmm, oh, you on my radar now? Mm hmm Or, like, I don't know, I just... I be getting the vibes, you know? Fuck out of here. Listen, man, all, all I say is this, all right? I, I, I'll just say this. What was it? Yesterday, I was trying to, like, kick it with her and maybe watch, like, a little movie. By the way, I, I still got to watch Infinity Wars or whatever. Bruh, you know I told her, you know I chicks be begging for time? And I said, you know, I'll play Fortnite for, like, about 12 hours straight. I'm about to, yo, yo, yo let's kick it for a little while. Actually, that was low-key cold that, you know what I mean? But anyway, <laughs> that was low-key cold. But I was like, yo, let's, let's spend some time. Bruh, you know, she kind of like, like, yo, get the fuck out of Nigga, she was watching another chick's live talk about me. I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? Nigga, I'm right here. Anyway, please stop with that. Whatever. I'll be no. on my detective shit, you know. Undercover research. I told her, this is, this is my last time dating the Dominican chick, bro. Dominicans are the best. All right, bro. Could you get out of my spotlight now? Let's <laughs> go over there. All right. Okay. What else? What else? What else, man? I, I'm going through all of the joints. Bum is so trashy. Did he really say, did he say that? Did you watch the video? Yeah, I did. He said that? Wait, what did he say? He said 6 9 smashed you? He, he basically said, yeah, basically that. Like, you were, like, mad because 6 9 had his, like, nuts hanging on my chin. I was like, what the fuck? And he called me Angelina. <laughs> Man, 
This bum ass nigga is so weird. Listen, last night I said it, and, and this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Dom low key wishes he was one of these IG bitches. And I think if he was one, he'd try to fuck me. You know why? Because he's obsessed with everybody's in my vicinity. Super obsessed. The whole ass nigga. That nigga called up Selena on some Wendy Williams shit like spill the tea sis <laughs> and even Selena who me and her we beefing and we don't talk right now even her she looked at him and she said bitch I'm not talking to your stupid ass I only did this shit that academics could get jealous now he felt like a bozo again man Dumb, I, I don't know what to say to you, bro. You've caught zero W's. The rappers you think you're FaceTiming with, they're fucking using you to make sure you don't fucking try to ruin their personal lives or send them to jail. Okay. <laughs> um, somebody said, somebody said uh, he claimed I was trying to send extra jail. I would like to hear that. that, yeah, that. He did. What is that? What is that? He said, because um, you know how you played that video with that girl in the background? She was like about video games. He was like, he was like, sit down and play video games, not leave. He was like, you're trying to like get him locked up, and that's why you play that video. No, uh, well, uh, that was my intended purpose. But again, X knows it. It's a yo. Let me tell you, this. I got no problem saying there's collateral damage in war. <laughs> you feel me? Any nigga who I think is down with ball gets it too. When I see X on some. X, listen, you know what it is. And X said, X, X told, I think he called me recently. I answered, but I don't know. Maybe he didn't. I've seen some floor. I don't know. I don't want to say something. But he, he told 6 9 to tell me, he's like, oh, like, it, X, you know, I got no fucking problems with you. But you got to know if me and you, we not talking and we're not seeing eye to eye, you know it's me and you. When I see anybody ride with Buck because me and you got issues, you're getting it too. I'm sorry. So now I'm going to highlight and focus and I could publicly say that i don't have to hide behind them x if you ride with bum every mistake you make will be on the biggest of platforms because you know why you ride with bum if you're in the car with bum you might catch a fucking straight we ain't taking a lot of yo why these things yo ah, that's what it is now i did not play that video to get him sent to jail i played that video to get that bitch ass nigga to actually do a story about something that wasn't Oh my God, he's taking pictures with fans. Look, he's smiling. Oh my God, he's so positive. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, shut the fuck up. Um, Dom is on his way to Jersey. Oh, tell him pull up. Tell him pull up. Tell him pull up. <laughs> For real. This is the message between Bum and Selena. That's her new ad name. Anyway, this is what she told us, this sucker. She says, literally, I messaged you to make AK mad. Yo ass, call me private, and I told you, psych. She talks just like that, psych. I'm not exposing shit. Watch my live, didn't I? So shut up. I ain't talk to you. Believe me, I know your thirsty ass would run a story on me if I gave you any information. So please prove to me. What? Some text, phone calls, DMs, anything where I was talking to you. I'll wait, sis. Bum is such an embarrassing fool, man. Jesus Christ. God damn, man. That nigga's a bum, bro. Nigga has no pride. Zero pride. Imagine imagine getting blasted like this. Imagine just, like, a chick just telling you, nigga, you're, you're fucking bumming a pawn. I only messaged you to make academics mad. And you call me on private. Could you imagine this? Imagine Bummer's life. Hello, Selena. Are you ready to spill the tea, sis? Are you ready to spill the tea on academics? Maybe this will get me back to life. I can tell people that. I. I what, what you mean, psych? No. Gee, this thing is embarrassing, bro. Fucking trash. Imagine a chick telling me this, man. I ought to delete all my tweets about it. This whole ass nigga called her private. Spill the tea, sis. What are you talking about? Can... All that shit you told me, I haven't mentioned that. Can... Nigga, you bit on my dick, nigga. You like my style. 
If Angelica posts a sad Instagram live, you in there liking shit, nigga. If any chick or anybody around, that's why I'm saying you're on my dick. Because the actual women who should be, you're more upset than them. Oh my God, spill the tea. I'm calling you right now. Oh my God, FaceTime, let's go. Oh my God, oh my God. Are you going to tell me, please, please let me know. I need to get in here, me back. Hit me again, hit me again, hit me again. You pathetic bum. I've never seen a nigga who's 35 get this much embarrassed by some young niggas. Or just people younger than him. Forget it. It's not even about age. And, and trust me, just to be clear, I'm not shaming you about your age. That's, that's not a thing. But I, I am shaming you about how old you are and how naive you are. You're supposed to be smarter than X. You're supposed to have more experience than X69. You're not supposed to be used as a fucking pawn by everybody that talks to you. Selena shouldn't be using you as a pawn. She told you already you were a fucking bum when you offered her money and she said no. And you came back calling private. Tell me this tea, sis. What are you talking about? What tea? What's wrong with you? Do you have no fucking pride? Do you have no pride? Let me tell you what pride does. You remember that nigga, his name is V-I-S-E-C or whatever? He was mad at Tory Lanez and, okay, I was kind of posting up his response with Tory Lanez. Like, because I was like, oh, let's see if he really had a point. The minute that nigga said something about me, nigga, fuck your case. And I don't really give a fuck about it now. I don't care what you say afterwards. I'm not posting shit else. You know why? Because I got pride. I got pride. I'm a man. Again, listen, everybody can say, oh, you're supposed to be neutral. No, man, bro. I'm a media outlet with a face on it. I'm sorry. I do have feelings. I'm sorry. I do have an ego. I'm sorry. I do feel some type of way if somebody says something. And I understand that people might feel some type of way if I say something. And if it's out loud, you know what I mean? I'll try to talk to that person. And shit, if, if I need to apologize, I'll apologize. And that's how it is. But I'm a person. But one thing, I like, you're not going to just fucking play me out like some palm bitch ass nigga. And then I'm still running back like, okay, what you got for me now? No, man. That's why you look lame. That's why I actually, even though I advised 6 9 not to call your whole ass, what he did, I respect it. Because now he gets to, when you call inqui like being inquisitive about all of that shit, like some shit that you're so retarded on, you ran a story about 6 9s manager being locked up. Like that shit had anything to do, and, and, and that's the thing, like you do stories and you just have zero facts with it. Just zero. The thing is, I don't even do a story and I have more facts. And this is not talking to 6ix9ine. Because why am I going to talk to 6ix9ine about real facts about maybe a real case? Nigga, I could pull it up. People are like, oh, why are you not talking about 6ix9ine manager? Don't say it. Yeah, he fucking got locked up for some shit he did years ago. You know what happened? They said, wait. Is this Treyway nigga? The nigga we looking for? He famous now? Let's go get him. Nothing to do with any Barclays. Nothing to do with 6ix9ine. There's no heroes in 6ix9ine. So when 6ix9ine was in Total World, they, they put them handcuffs like, what are they got? We, we won. We know we famous now. We, I keep telling you, I can't be a famous criminal. And I'm glad he, built, he bonded out all that stuff. 6ix9ine paid 75k in bail. Good, good shit. But I didn't even do a story on it because you know what? Like, yeah, like the fuck? Like, he's, I don't cover 6ix9ine's manager. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I don't, the fuck? Like, if. If Drake's manager got locked up, I'm like, oh my god, Drake manager, fuck out of here. If Drake gets locked up, we own it. But of course you have zero facts, so now the people think, oh my god, you got locked up for this? No, you're an idiot. Do some fucking research. You feel me? That's the reason why you're the factless bozo. And you can never call me wackademics when you literally provide no facts. You might be able to say at this point, oh, yeah, well, people, they, they watch me because I'm always on it. I'm first with the upload. But you're usually wrong with the facts. This point, I'm very happy. Like, trust me, I, I, I worked the, the, the scene of let's be first, 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 first. Till I realized now, it's best to just be most correct with new information, with facts that no one has. Qualitative journalism is a little bit better. And of course, I give my opinion all, all the time. Shit. I mean, I speculate sometimes. That's nothing wrong with that, but very clear. Very clear. This is what I think. This blah, blah. I don't know. But you make zero effort. That's why you're a bum. You feel me? And th that's what I told you before. Because in reality, 
and everybody knows it, you're a guy who just chases coins, you don't really care about the things you're reporting on, and you admitted it the very first time we ever had a conversation when, at that point, I didn't have a problem with you then. You know what you said to me? You said, yeah, if Daniel Brigoli and, and Lil Tay and, and Woe Vicky or some somebody named, who the fuck is it, Malichi? Something like that? M Malu, Malu. Malu. If, if they get me the views, I'll just report on them all the time. And I'm like, bruh, like, you got to have a little bit of integrity. Bruh, if you don't think I couldn't got like a 2 million view video on the Rich the Kid and, and, and Uzi shit, I could have done that. I didn't do it. I'm like, all right, whatever. You feel me? Because it's not like, that's not the thing that's dictating where I'm at now. I'm so happy because it was a frustrating life. Like, it felt like I had to be tied to a particular room. And I still really want to, not only really want to, but I still put on a lot of work. But th that's not fulfilling. You feel me? So at these times, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come with some additional information. So if I'm going to report, which I didn't, I, if I was going to report that 6 ix 9 manager got locked up, which, given information I had, why does it matter? He got locked up for some shit that, that's probably, he probably didn't even know 6 9 at that point. Because I looked at the warrant. The warrant is from, the warrant is from 2012. They just finally caught up with that nigga like, yeah, we ain't no, because apparently there's a lot of different stuff, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, I've, I've continually tried to, even though I buried my son, I'm, I'm trying to get him to step his game up. Uh, I believe he's someone who is literally a parasite of YouTube. And if, you know what I mean? Other YouTubers reached out to me saying the same thing. And at that point, I wasn't even saying nothing about it. And, and the reason why I say that is that, of course, anybody can make videos about anything they want. But there's no care there. It's, it's you're just doing shit because you want, like, you're just following what the hype is. And, and of course, get your numbers if you could. But the crazy thing is you're not getting numbers. And then you'll say some shit and do zero research. Zero. Like, not even a fucking Google search. You see it pop up, usually probably either on my page, World Star, maybe you see it on Twitter. Then you hop and make a video, put a bunch of pictures and whatever with it, and just put it on YouTube and say, oh my God, yeah, it's up. I cracked two jokes. Like, that used to really cut it when it was, like, nobody delivering news on YouTube. Now it's like, all right, tell me something we don't know. Tell me something we don't know. That's it. Like, you got to tell people. And, and, and th that's the struggle you're having. And you have these little internal turmoils with yourself. And you've taken out them on me. And you've taken out them on me. Then now you're a hypocrite. Because you became a hypocrite when... You none of these rappers wanted to talk to you, and the new rappers who do fuck with me talk to me. It became a problem for you because now you're like, okay, I'm still off the people. He's he's like the, he's friends with the rappers, and I admit at times that it's a very difficult line to straddle, because sometimes you know what I mean you might come across biased if you're talking to one side more than the other. If it's a situation of both. But it opened my horizons up to it's a whole new perspective from sitting at home just guessing and actually having some inside information and actually being able to verify some shit that when you say it, it's real. That's why if you look at most of the stuff that happened this year, and, 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 this, and, and, and I'm, I'm talking to them very civilly. That's why if you look at most of the stuff that happened this year that either I'm getting credited for or people have mentioned me for, it's not just because I made a video. Yeah, I can make a funny video all the time. That's great. That's cool. But the ones that are going to make the impact that the other blogs you're going to take is where I'm actually breaking some information. When I got on stream and I played the Nicki Minaj alternate version of motorsport. Yes, that's something that was new information that I confirmed rumor. That's putting in work. So with all the shit you're talking about, academics, my nigga, you do nothing that the average person in my chat comment section doesn't do. And you became the hypocrite the minute you started to try to shame me for being cool with rappers that you later then now beg to be cool with. 
and you're finding the same turmoil as well because if you're going to be cool with next you're going to have to suck his dick and you cannot report nothing negative about him unless he's not going to fuck with you and yeah and he blasted you on twitter and he deleted it, but he basically said that you think about it x says you fucking invaded his privacy by reporting a story that's fucking out there i actually agree with you on that shit Bro, I didn't invade your fucking privacy. But he might be talking about some other shit. Maybe he's talked to you about that personally. Maybe he's talked to you and explained that to you personally. And you reporting it like you never had that conversation with him. You probably felt like, whoa. Or maybe you used that information incorrectly. Maybe some off the record stuff. You probably felt like, Yo, whoa, you're really invading my privacy. X has said many things to me. If, if it's not to be on public record, I won't put it on it. Same as 6 9 That's why when you're talking about the ghostwriting shit, again... You wanted me to confirm that 6 9 had a ghostwriter when I've never seen him. I've never heard a reference track for him. I was in the studio. Angelica was there too. You were there. What? Tati. Yeah. You were there when Tati was made. You took a picture. Because Ugly God came later that night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come around here. That's the first time I've ever... No, is it the first time? No, I heard... I saw him record Blood Walk again. But it's, it's, it's the second time I've ever seen him record a track. How did Tati get made up? And, and I don't think, by the way, some of the stuff I'm going to say now, I don't think 6 9 even cares because, like, it was really them coming up with shit. And low-key, as much as I, like, clown on him because he always plays me shit, and I say, yo, that's why. Most of the songs he plays in first are, are dope. How did, they, how did they do Tati? He was there. It was, like, off the top, right? Exactly. It, it was kind of like they're playing the beat, they play over the shit. Like, first of all, his enunciation is so trash. He had to... <laughs> Like, there was a part of like, oh, no, no, no. Actually, that was on the track with me and him. The part Bum is dead. Back to you. So I was saying, forge your own fucking legacy, nigga. Stop trying to follow chicks or whoever around who's been around me. Let's expose academics. It just proves how much of a hoe you are. Okay? You're an embarrassment for a nigga going through a midlife crisis. This nigga is 35, don't even got a beard, bro. 35, no beard, no mustache. I'm dead serious. 35, no beard, no mustache. Trying to look like he's like 16. Talking about hamster. I've never seen a fucking picture of this nigga. I've never seen this nigga standing. I don't know if he's in a wheelchair and I would never make fun if he is. I don't know what the fuck he does. How dare that nigga be on some shit? How the fuck? If that is not crazy, yo, listen, I don't trust nobody who's 36 without a mustache or a beard, bruh. You know how hard this nigga been, been trying to look like he's 16, nigga? Bruh, that nigga 100% looks like the nigga who drives around a white van and picks up kids at the local elementary school. <laughs> hey, it's Thomas Life. You want to expose Zach? And I got candy. Come here, kids. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> it's the same nigga. Yo, you know what the crazy thing is? Niggas really thought like he was like. This thing is 35 who was clickbaiting with Daniel Brigoli's, like, cleavage. She was 13. Mm. This other Malishi, Malushi, whatever her name is, clickbaiting with a kid. Wait, wait, wait. bro, nigga don't got a, a, a fucking, it don't got sideburns, a mustache. Bro, if Chris Hansen don't report to fucking Houston, Texas, immediately... We have a problem. Nigga got 
us no foul saying of here is Dan Bagoli cuddling with Chippy Red. Why do you have that on your phone? If they did fuck in the studio or whatever, I don't want to know. I don't I know blah blah blah. But, but, nigga, that's child pornography. You're 35 without sideburns and a mustache. Why? When she is motherfucking 18, you'll be 40. I'm not shaming your age. That, trust me, this is not what it is. I'm highlighting the things that you try to say to me. You need to hold a mirror up and look in it. I don't lie. I do clown niggas on sometimes how they look. But, but, but I do it in a self-deprecating way. Because I know niggas see me. And I'm not the fucking, like, uh, like... Like, well, I ain't not like <laughs> the best looking nigga of all time. But to see a nigga who goes to extreme lengths to not, yo, we don't know if the nigga is three foot fucking tall, just fucking look wide like a fucking umpty loompa, like egg shaped nigga with no mustache and no sideburns, 35 looking on Chippy Red's page to see if he's liking, uh, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about, boy? So fucking obsessed with where another man's penis is. Oh my god, academics is talking about he piped down Selena, guys. Also, if you don't know, I gotta let you know. 6ix9ine told me that uh even 6ix9ine calls you fake news. Called you on the live stream of fake fucking news. Dumb is dead. <laughs> are you kidding me? Then are you sure you said that? Because I didn't watch it. And I might watch it, but I really don't want to give his bum ass channel no time. That nigga shit look uh, right. I said that nigga get like forty thousand views for a story. I said, oh my god. Yo, you gotta watch this. He's like, I, I, I should watch it. I said you should watch it, bro. I, 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 like, I really don't. I, none of his shit comes into my space. I, I don't, I'm not into that. You left my apartment before you watched that bullshit. I'm not into th that bum nigga. It should not enter my space. I didn't even, like watch your shit in here. Okay, good. You, if, if I ever, if you're ever in my fucking vicinity of the place that I paid for watching this bum ass nigga, please leave. <laughs> Is this the nigga we're listening to? <laughs> this nigga is going through. Five triple bypass surgeries, high cholesterol, diabetes, midlife crisis, fucking Rogaine and everything else can't help him grow a fucking mustache. No fucking sideburns. Nigga can't fully grow a beard. And this is a nigga who is obsessed on who the fuck Malishi is fucking in. If six nine and, and if 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 uh trippy this is the nigga we're listening to oh we, is this the nigga I gotta respond to? Are we fucking kidding me? Are we fucking kidding me, bruh? I'm on his fucking channel now. Are we fucking kidding me, bro? Wait, wait, would you fight him? Bro, you could pull up. <laughs> what, where is he from? He's from Texas, Houston. Mm. His name is Dominic Crawford. Goes through very extreme lens to not show his fucking face, and he's over here sitting, trying to get off jokes that he saw in comment sections. Are you kidding me, nigga? <laughs> Boy, put out a whole full fucking video of yourself, standing up, Couple of pictures, nigga. Get a purse on Instagram or something. Let's see what you look like, nigga. You're my fucking failed son. And no matter what you say, you're my failed son. I will beat the brakes off of this bum ass nigga. <laughs> He's wild. 
Are you fucking kidding me? The nigga who has ridden my dick like it's a fucking dick riding rodeo. Till the point that, and, and, and to all y'all fans who think, oh my God, academics is pressed. Nigga, check the numbers. I don't even, I've put out five videos because I've been busy fighting with this chick over here. Moving, redecorating, niggas hacking my shit. All shit, like, I haven't put out much YouTube videos, I should. But even then, this nigga is not touching, he's not one-tenth of me. And if, if, if the numbers really show, I'm growing faster than he is. How the fuck do you think I am worried about him? How? How? In what fucking world? I think it's so funny. Like, he looks up to you. You're an inspiration to him. And then, like, he... Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. And to all, all y'all YouTubers, listen. Listen. I talk shit. I, I'm, I'm shit talking. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't sitting here, like... But a lot of times I talk shit in general. We really ain't talking about specific niggas. That nigga, he's the definition of when you throw a stone in a pig pen, the one that squealed is the one that got fucking hit. Oh, well, I'm the biggest channel, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, you must have been talking to me. No, nigga. Any of the mother niggas could have stepped up, too. They're my sons, too. It wasn't just at you, but you stepped up. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's just, he's mad that I'm, I'm rolling. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You're, you're a bum. What else did he say? Come on, man. Oh, I thought he was about to try to play some shit. I was like, yo. <laughs> nah, he was just... He said he wanted me to fight you. He said this shit about me. He said this shit about X. He said something about, like, Joe Budden. Like, but, like you say something, like, like you mad and you run to the internet. And then he was just, like, talking about how, like... My nigga, my life is on the internet. We just had a real conversation about arguments me and you have really had. And me and Selena have really had. And we had it online. I'm sorry, my life is online. My life is online. I would have rather some of that, some of those stuff was private. But once Selena came on here and yeah, I was like, let's put it out. Okay, let's put it out. I mean, I'm, I'm not hiding nothing like that. Okay, let's go. My life is on the internet. Yes. Sometimes I come on here, I feel a way. I let it be known. Hell yeah. I'm sorry. What the fuck? He's Bro, the internet is my platform. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you see, niggas be so, and this is why niggas are born as pain. They're too worried about trying to look like they're bosses or... My nigga, I, if, 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 again, I don't think I've cried on you, but I, I did get emotional one time. But whatever, whether you see me cry, shout, fucking laugh, clown, sim, dis, whatever it is, you see it all, bro. Like, I'm not sitting here like only a fucking fraud tries to only put out one type of presentation of themselves. Bro, there's times that you might look at me like academics being a bitch. And then sometimes you might look at me like academics being a real nigga. It should be like that. If I'm going to be real, if I'm going to be transparent. You're not supposed to agree with me all the time. If you only put out a contrived look all the time, you're fucking fake. It's life. That's just how it goes. Really, the nigga who turned around called me Wackademics is a nigga who used to be my stream as my eighth most, like my eighth most loyal viewer. Sorry. Could you believe that? Yeah. The nigga who was in my stream for the eighth longest times and i got people here who dedicated that's the guy who turned around and said oh the guy i used to spend all my time watching he's white now really and the horrible choice to have that's crazy jealousy is very bad you you do have a point i could stop mentioning you but i won't because i noticed these little small underhanded things and the moment you thought you were about to <laughs> what do you tweet The moment you thought, the moment you thought, well, that nigga tweeted some shit. You delete it. Like a hoe. Normal shit. Normal shit. Normal shit. Like a hoe. Like a hoe. Like a hoe. Like a hoe. But he tweeted, Guys, do you want me to interview Selena? No, academics girl Selena. Blah blah blah. Man, he made, he tried to make it sound like Selena wanted him, and he don't want her. And she was like just this big like, you know, thought. Now, I'm, I'm I'm not even I'm not even insinuating that he was trying to flex like he was with her. I'm not even insinuating that. But what I'm saying is that he was trying to insinuate that yo, y'all want to know what checkmate is? 
academics this girl is now down to talk to me yeah you would frame it like that you would frame it like that because you thought it was a one-up mm -hmm. so you know what it told me and yes i have been this very constantly but you know why you got this dream today because it told me your heart was still in a place of being bitter yeah you're bitter that when we talked live face to or well at least we talked directly to each other you got washed and everybody agrees with that you, you you're bitter about that so if you could do these little underhanded things which again most of them make me think this guy has no pride you'll do them so when you do that yes i'm gonna do a whole stream really exposing you as a 35 year old no mustache no facial hair weirdo obsessed with bad babies like fucking is she a young boy and my leash whatever her name is and also just being a creep but not even that just obsessed with me sorry buddy you could have came over here that would be great that would be great is he home i don't call that man. trust me that bum ass nigga i guarantee he's watching right now <laughs> I guarantee he's watching right now, man. He's just fucking learned his lesson. You know what I mean? He ain't coming over here. Go make another video where you're not talking. You're not going back and forth, nigga. You're just like fucking throwing together some clips to make a point. Cute. Okay. All right. Anticlimactic. Uh, I was down to talk to homie. I'll see if I can call him again, but. He's on. He's ringing. He's gonna decline. Exactly. Exactly. So that will be it. Uh, but I just had to address both of them. Dumb. Uh, stop being a fucking loser, okay? Uh, before Chris Hansen pulls up to your group, bro. Okay. Just stop it, man. Stop. Okay. 36 or 35 whatever your age is treat your girl or your wifey good okay pump out a couple of kids bro you feel me worry that they're not getting into relationships and stuff like that and make sure they're not dating trippy red you know, that, that, that would be very wise if he's a father but um trying to see if you can are you selling them are you ready to expose academics no, you looked rather late. Rather late. Rather late, man. Rather goddamn late. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is hilarious. <laughs> uh, this is... Um, do you want to see views from the grave? This is views from the grave right here. You wanna see? This is views from the grave. <laughs> this is views from the grave, yo. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, I got this nigga so pissed, nigga. So yo, fuck it, let's fight. Fuck it, man. Let's get this paid, man. Fuck it. <laughs> look. All right. Um, look at this. Look at this. I'm done playing games. You dumbass, simp ass clown academics. No, you dumb, simp-ass cloud academics drag me into this bullshit. I don't want your thought. Keep her. <laughs> Selena says, sir, yeah, I'm not going to keep playing with you. I want nothing to do with this nigga ever again. Please stop, dude. I'm not his girl. He never claimed me. He just didn't want you and I talking because he was using me for views, obviously. What? The whole industry used me to come to come up. What? As a come up, not as a come rag, which is the funny part of all this. Angelica's his wife. They're married. <laughs> They're married? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, so leave me out of all this. Listen to his response. This is a 35-year-old nigga going through a midlife crisis. We got this nigga impressed. Leave me the fuck out of it. Don't mention my name again. You dragged me in this dumb shit. I pissed the fuck off. <sighs> Stay pissed. Boom. He said, I pissed the fuck off. Might put his bitch nigga in rehab, man. Pissed off. <laughs> My you dragged me in this dumb shit. Like she told you to make a YouTube video, man. This nigga is 
crazy. Dumb. You need to be thanking me. You need to thank Selena too, nigga. Uh, you, you, like, first of all, Twitch is about 1% of my revenue income stream, period. Number one, I'll put that out there. Number two, dumb. You don't get no views, nigga. Uh, uh, when you talk about 6 9 me, Selena, and Bad Baby. That's what I'm talking about. It's trash. Sorry. Should I stop shitting on him, man? Should I stop shitting on him? Yeah. Fuck that, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I might put that nigga in the mental hospital, man. Leave the fuck out of me. Oh, my God. Don't mention my name again. Oh, you dragged me into dumb shit up here. Oh. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man. I wanted him to just hop on here. We're trying to just body him one more time, man. For everybody who uploads these videos on YouTube, I was trying to give y'all some good content tonight. I'm just trying to. The whole nigga didn't show up. We made a whole video. Nobody knows where he's at. Well, I got a better idea. Because, uh, you know, I'm, you know, him, he, that little, little cow like, him. I didn't go academic shoot because last time he muted me all the time. Tell him to fire up a stream. I'll call him. <laughs> This thing is embarrassed, Aris, Aris, Aris. Pray you're never 35. Like Bum is live. Being this pathetic. Hit by 19 year old niggas. Okay? Being led on a string by. <laughs> just, just think about it. If, if these are L's, 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 fuck it, I don't know what it is. If these are else, you tell me. This is according to what Angelica and Yah said. Well, he said six nine said he fucked he fucked Angelica, and that's why you broke her TV. Okay, six nine. Did you say that? Man, that's fake news. But Miss Dead said that. <laughs> the nigga who you be so happy that texted you called you Bum is dead and fake news. Jesus Christ! Like, what more fucking else could you take? Guys, the X interview's coming out soon. Uh, yo, yo, he FaceTime me, guys. When is it coming? The nigga did an interview with the ops. I don't know if y'all know, there's an interview that the ex kind of did that they turned around on him because I guess they were trying to, like, they probably pitched it to him, like, oh, he's trying to show more of a human side of you, blah, blah, blah. But they turned it around on him, right? And they fucking just made it seem like he's a monster. And again, I don't know if it's true or not, to his ex. It was really a story about his ex. That nigga tell <laughs> oh, well, he told me oh, when he's going on tour, he's gonna do the interview. <laughs> nigga do an interview with everyone but you. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. And Loki, the last time when I provoked him about that, I was I was hoping that ex. I was hoping X, like, I, I thought X was trying to support him. I was like, I was hoping X would just give him the interview. Then I could be like, all right, good. You know what I mean? Good shit. I'm not mad if you get an interview with X. <clears throat> good. And also, truth be told, I really just want him to get it. I could call him trash again. <laughs> now, nah, I'm so mad. Y'all yeah, need help, man. I was going to call him trash again just to say, nigga, this interview you're planning, like, this is fucking Oprah interviewing B uh, Barack Obama. It was a bunch of softball questions and we learned nothing. With nothing for anybody to talk about. Nothing. You just was fucking giggling and twirling your big ass Cheeto toes while the nigga was fucking buttering you up on FaceTime on some dumb shit. With questions he probably wrote. Don't ask me about your beer. Don't ask me about this. Don't make fun. Yeah, nigga. So I'm just gonna show again. Like, it, I'm gonna show you why he's trash. Look at what I did and look what he did. Okay, trash. 